Hey folks, this is Vent with Ant Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to play Carcassonne. This is the digital adaptation of the popular board game. I've played it a number of times already, so I'm not going to go over all of the rules, but I will go over what I'm doing when I'm doing it, just for the benefit of those that are new to the game. Let's take a look at chat and see who's here. Hello, ZXC, how are you? Ishwa, Gino, Jodian, how are you? I don't do shoutouts, but I do say hello to people. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start a new game here. And we'll go ahead and do a two-player game, it's fine. Uh, I guess we'll go... I don't have a whole lot of expansions anyway. Alright, we'll just leave it in, on the basic setting. Uh, play with fields, dead tiles, yep. I'm good to go there. So regal. Okay, so the gist of this game is draw a tile, play a tile. Um, so based on what I drew, I drew this tile in the bottom right-hand corner here. Um, so it's just a grassland tile for the most part. It does have castles on either side. Um, the idea here is, when you play a tile, if you complete the item in the environment, you score it at that point. So, for example, if it's a road, if the road has a definite beginning and a definite end whenever you place the tile down, then that road is closed and you score it. Same with castles. If the castle has a clear beginning and a clear end, if it's walled all the way around, for example, it's considered closed and it scores and whoever has meeples on it will score. So, yeah, you're closing stuff off. These churches here, um, abbeys, whatever you want to call them, um, if they're surrounded on all sides then, including diagonals, then uh, it'll score then. So I'm actually going to put this piece here, and I'm going to put a, um, I'm going to put a meeple on it. Yeah. And I, in doing so, this will close the, the wall. I mean, it's a very small castle, mind you, but it's still worth two points per, uh, per castle section. So I believe that's four points. Yep. Yeah. It's been a while since I've played, but it's coming back to me. Alright. Oh, another one. The idea, if I can, if I can, like, not build in this direction and build to the right, I, I do not want to help him complete these tiles. He has a meeple on them. Um, whenever you place a tile, you have, you have to decide then and there whether or not you're going to put a meeple on it. You cannot put, you cannot put a tile down and then put a meeple somewhere else. You have to put a meeple down on the tile that you're placing. So I can no longer, you know, I couldn't put a meeple over here, but I may want to try and just prevent him from completing these two church slash abbey uh, combos. So actually, what this tile that I have will uh, I can put that down there, and I'm gonna go ahead and put down another meeple right there. Score it. Now you only have so many meeples too. Um, once you run out of meeples to place on the board, you can't place anymore, and that's it. Okay. So let's see. It looks like he completed this road section here. That's good. It looks like he had his purse, his meeple, on the road and not the church itself, which I understand that. Um, but yeah, now that this piece went down, this tile, this completed the road section, it scored. So he got, I believe it's one point per road section, so he's got three victory points there. All right, so let's see here. Let's do... It's a crazy looking tile that I've got. Um, I wouldn't mind adding... If I add, I can't add it here. I would love, this This little shield means that if you complete this castle before the end of the game, you'll get, uh, I think it's an extra two points. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and actually put that down like that. And I'm going to go ahead and put a meeple on this castle. And my goal is going to try to complete this castle before the end of the game, if I can. If you can't, you still get some points at the end of the game, but not as much as you would by completing it before the game ends. So he put a tile down and, and uh, put his meeple on this road section. So if he completes a road section, then um, this, this road will score and he'll get some points for that. Um, this is a nice one. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Again, I'm trying to close this castle off. I'm going to play that there. And do I want to put a meeple down? Um, I'm thinking yes. Um, at the end of the game, any farmers that are on these fields will score points for every completed castle they touch. So, um, and when I say touch, there's some rules regarding 
that. Um, for example, if I if I were to put my meeple on the other side of this road, okay, roads act as like a wall, kind of, sort of, when it comes to farmers. So uh, the farmer would only, if I put a meeple here on the edge, it would only score points for e every castle that it touches that is on this side of the road. Um, so I'd want to put my farmer down on this side. Now, whenever you put a farmer down, you lay him flat. He's there for the rest of the game, and you cannot move him. But again, you get some extra points at the end of the game for every completed castle that he touches. In this case, I've already got two. One, two. Hopefully, there's going to be three right here. Now, you can only have one farmer per field, so he cannot, like, say, place a tile down over here and lay a farmer on it, because I've already got one here. The only way you can do that is if you lay a farmer down and then connect pieces of land that normally weren't touching before. Uh, that's the only way to do it. So I think we're gonna we're gonna stick with that. And what's he gonna do? All right, looks like he's got a farmer there. So right now at the end of the game, he's gonna score uh, some points for this castle that's completed, but none other. Now if he puts a tile here, it could still complete that field. So I may want to prevent him from like connecting this land. Uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so actually, you know what? I'm going to place this here, complete this castle, and this will give me two, four, six, eight, and then plus the shield is an extra bonus. Do I want to put another farmer down somewhere? Um, um, yeah, I, I'm going to want to put one, I think, uh, I don't know if I want to put one down there. See, putting a farmer down here would give me, uh, I mean, yeah, it would give me some points at the end of the game for this completed castle, but it's not touching any other castle right now. I'd have to build more castles somewhere to the right, um, but I don't know if I'm going to be doing that yet. Another thing I could do is possibly put my meeple down on this road and then try and connect road segments and then complete them and score some points that way. I, I just, I don't know where things are headed right now. I'll go ahead and make this a, a thief, which is a meeple on a road. See if we can complete them that way. Alright, so he's got his own thief there. Okay, so that's a fairly big castle tile. Um, one strategy might be to expand this really far out so that he can't complete it, but I also... Well, well, actually, you know what? He doesn't have a meeple on this castle, so maybe I might want to put this here and then put a meeple on it. Um, and hopefully complete this castle before the end of the game. That's one possibility. Um, you know, I think I'll do that. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to risk it. There's two shields, two crest symbols on these castles, so I'm going to get some extra points anyway. All right, he's got his own castle starting over there. Um, it looks like what I've got is just a, a typical road. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and maybe do something like this. That way, um, or maybe I should... Hmm. Um, here's the thing. By putting this here, this little town counts as closing a road segment. So this road segment here would not count as part of a road should this road over here close. So I may want to try and combine this road with this road at some point in the future, then close it somewhere over here. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, do I want to rotate it? Yeah, whatever. And do I want to put... A meeple down. Um, I'm not really interested. I mean, I'm working on this castle up here. If I can somehow combine the land, but here's the thing. There's all these road segments here. If, if I were to put a farmer down here, there's a good chance that these road segments would block off this castle up here. So there's no point in me laying a farmer down here except to maybe, um, oh yeah, look at his farmer is now controlling this here. Uh, so yeah, th again, that's the only way that you can get two farmers to control the same land, is if, like, here we go. Um, you know what? You know, I'm gonna... I might want to pass on that. As much as I... I I'm gonna pass on putting a meeple down right now. I just want to see where this goes. Alright, he completed a castle over there. It's actually good for my meeple, because again, this farmer is touching that, per this little shaded helper here. Alright, um, let's go ahead and maybe close this section off. We'll do something like that. And again, I could put a farmer down over here, but uh, 
I don't know if we're going to complete this in time. I'm just going to let it go. All right, he's putting our castle over there. I've got a little... Um, okay, this, this could work to my advantage. Um, this thing... Again, requires that you surround it on all sides. Uh, if you do that, you, you score it. Um, I'm going to want to try and... I don't want to help him over here. He's got a person on this cloister slash abbey slash church, whatever. Um, so I don't want to put this down here and then surround that on all sides because that's going to help him out. So I think we want to put, um, say, this over here. And we've already got three, so it's just a matter of connecting the rest of these. One, two, three, four, five. So I will put a meeple on top of that cloister. I'm going to be using the terms church and cloister and abbey interchangeably. I think cloister is the correct verbiage, but, you know. All right, so here we go. So this is what I was talking about earlier. I can uh, now connect these. Now I've got a road here, a road here, a road here, a road here. So that's one, two, three, four. If I can close this off here, I'll get five points for this person being on this road. Do I want to put a farmer down here? No, I don't. What I really need is more castle towns to place up here. Okay, that was really simple of him. He 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 put a, a, a four-way down here, and he put a meeple down on this road, and that automatically closed it. Like I said, these towns act as endpoints, so... Um, this was already here, he put this down, he put a meeple down, that, that closed that off, and then boom, two points. Nothing too fancy. Um, I have another road tile, which I don't want. I'm trying to... I don't want to put a road tile here to help him out. Uh, or him to help him out. Um, I kind of want to... I want to kind of extend my own road down here. Do I want a farm farmer there? Nah. What I really need is some more castle tiles to place up here and try and finish that. Oh, another road tile. Oh, uh, man. This is going to be the longest winding road ever. Do I want a farmer there? Nah. Alright, so he scored 9 points for completing this cloister. He surrounded it on all sides, which was good for him. Uh, another road tile! I don't want these. I, I want to complete this castle, darn it. Um, fine, I'll, I'll put that there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put that like so. This will make it very difficult for him to complete this castle. Um, again, you're trying to wall off this castle, but there are only so many tiles with a road on one side and a castle on the other. So, by facing it this direction... Uh, the, the downside to that approach is it may be dif more difficult for me to close this off. You know what? I, that's fine. I'm, I don't want him completing this castle, if I can help it. Oh, he's got... Oh, nice! I got an end... Or is that him or me? No, that was him. Alright, um... So he closed this section of the castle off. He needs a, something similar over here, but I, what I'm going to do is do something like that. And this is great. So now all I need to do is wall this off. But with this, actually, no. Close. Um, maybe here instead. Because this road up here would make it very difficult for me to... Like, if I were to put that tile here, trying to find an end section for this wall to close this off with a road being here, it would be tough. So I think here, and then if I could find something that would completely wall this off, would be the ideal situation. But... Now, if I take a look at the deck, uh, what's shaded is what's been used, what isn't is what's remaining. Um, it's it's luck, really. I mean, there's a couple of tiles with a road on one side. Uh, I, I might be actually pull that off. Let's see. Hold on. If I do that, um, there is a castle with a there is a, a tile with a road that goes up and then a castle on one side closing this off. That would be this tile here, and this one here. There's actually quite a few. I just have to get lucky. And then there's two here. So I think we'll, we'll play what I originally did. This will make it easier to shut off, or to close off, I think. Alright, do I want a farmer? Uh, again, um, I don't think I do. I think we'll stop that. All right, so he's extending that out even further there. Oh, um, this would not be ideal for me. 
I'd have to, no, that's bad. Because um, then I'd have to surround it. What I could do is do that, and then that would almost guarantee that he wouldn't, he'd have to close it on this side, on this side. That would make it hell for him to, to close that off. Or do I just want to, oh, I can't close that off down there. I could score an easy two points, do something like this. Um, I could put this down, right, and then just put a meeple right here, and that would close this road. So I can, and this will also give me the opportunity to uh, get an extra point for having a tile adjacent to this one. So I think we're going to do that. So we're going to put a meeple down there, score two points, boom, boom. He's got another one. Those things are nasty if you can surround them. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, perfect. That's what, exactly what I was looking for. Okay. So we're going to place that one down. And now I have a choice. Do I want a meeple on the road? Do I want a farmer here so I can score more points at the end of the game? If I can... If I can somehow get this land to connect with down here, that would be awesome. If I were to put a farmer here, that would be rather tough, though. I'd have to find a way to connect this. Well, even if I did connect that, it would be via road and that would cut that off. Well, maybe not. Ah, this is a tough decision. Do I want a, do I want a thief on the road? Do I want a farmer laying here? I still have three meeples remaining and, and, um, this, this one here is gold. That's great. Um, you know what? Maybe, Maybe what we'll do is we'll put a farmer here, and if I can somehow build off of this and complete more castles, more power to me. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, it's 18 points for that one. That was great. Oh, wow. He's really doubling down on that section there. Okay. Um, we've got this tile, which... Eh. Not exactly what I wanted. I mean, I could, I could do something like that. I mean, that would, that would give me some extra points here for this guy. Um, also, what I could do is I could lay down a farmer here, and that would be touching that castle as well. That would be another three points. Um, I could also extend this out, which I don't think I want to do. Um, I kind of like this here for the sake of trying to close this off, but the chances of that happening is going to be nil at this point. There are not a whole lot of tiles that fit together that... Um, we'll entirely close this off. We've got, we've got a road here and a castle here. It may not work. We'll still get some points though at the end of the game for partially enclosing this. Okay, so what I may do is just put that there. Um, I kind of like the idea of a farmer being here and then again trying to build off more castles. I mean, I, I need to start using these meeples that I have. So again, we've got a complete castle here. This will still give me three points at the end of the game. But the idea is to try and get more. Okay, so we've got another... Uh, uh, Coyster. So now we kind of find a way to surround that. Um, I'm tempted to build, like, put it down here and build off of him. If he tries to build off of this, then it's going to benefit me. So I may do something like this, right? And then put my meeple on top of it. So now, like, he's, he want, he's encouraged to build one here and build one here because he's trying to complete this. But in doing so, that'll help me. So I kind of like that. I've got one meeple left. Oh, he's got those end pieces. Alright, um, I've got a road piece. Um, can't put that there. Um, that would Putting that down here would, ex would help him out. I can't put a, uh, a thief on a road when he's already got one there, so that doesn't make sense. Um, hmm. Again, trying to find a way to, well, if I connect, if I did this and put a meeple on this road, this road connecting here would complete this path and Black and I would both score a ton of points. So maybe I should put that here. All right, let's do that. And I'm going to put a thief on the road here. In the hopes that he completes this road. Oh, he enclosed 
two towns. That's it. Oh, I can do it. Um, so, fine. Yeah, I guess we'll both score points in doing this. I've got a thief, he's got a thief. Okay, another windy road. What am I gonna do with that? Um, I'd, I'd really like to try- this, this, this farmer here, right here, is doing great. He's touching a lot of castles. I, I, the more he touches, the better for me. Um, again, putting a road here would help him out. Because that, that extends this road even further. But on the plus side, I mean, it does, it does extend the reach of my farmer. I don't know if I want to do that, though. That's just a waste over there. Putting, I, I would really like a farmer. I would love, to, can I put a farmer here? I don't think, hmm. I don't want to help him out by, by doing that. Well, putting a road here would connect this farmer with everything else around. So if he completes this, well, he's already going to complete it. But that would prevent him from putting a farmer down and connecting this later. I kind of like that idea. But at the same time, this, this helps him out with his road, and I don't know if I really want to do that. The other option is just to build the road somewhere else. Um... I mean, this would, this would at least give me another point into completing this, this cloister. Um, I guess we'll do that, and I, I could put a farmer there, I'm not gonna. I mean, there's, there's almost no chance that a castle is gonna be completed on this side of the road. Because again, that would only cover this side, what is not shaded blue. So, yeah, we'll leave that. And he completed that castle for 24 points. That's good on him. Not good Not good for me, that's for sure. Um, again, I'm trying to complete castles, so let's... Putting that here is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be rough. There's almost no hope in completing this castle. Not with the way these are set up. I need small little castles, basically, to complete. On the plus side, though, this farmer is now touching this green one. Or, or this, this, the one that he just finished. I'm going to get extra points at the end of the game for that completed castle. So I did get some points, but it's not showing yet. Okay, um, I, I kind of want to put this here for the sake of the cloister and to try and put... I'm trying to extend this out as much as possible. I'm tempted to add a, uh, uh, a meeple here, but that would be my last one, and I don't know if I want to do that yet. That would be rough. And there's no hope of picking this. It doesn't look like there's any tile that will complete this road over here. I'll still get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points for it at the end of the game, though. That's not too bad. Um, you know, I'm not going to put a tile down, but I will put that there. He keeps getting those stupid castle tiles. That really bugs me. All right. Um... Well, that would complete this road section, um, which is good. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to put a meeple down right on top of it. And I'll score an easy three points. Now, it doesn't look like any, any tile could possibly go here, so this will never score, at, at least during the game. All right, um... That's a completed castle there, but unfortunately my farmer is on the wrong side and there's no way of getting over there. Um, what I could do is, uh, we are nearing the end, I could maybe put, um, if this is going to get completed at some point in the future, putting a farmer here, actually, touches this castle and this castle, 
This one I'll get points for. This one I might get points for if it gets completed. I'm going to put that there, actually, and put a farmer down. That's my last meeple. But I'm, 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 I'm aiming for the end of the game here. If I can get points for that and points for this, that would be great. He's really, he's really trying to get this done. Nice on my end. Now, here's the thing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any meeples left, but I can still complete this castle. Um, and this will earn my... I, I would love to put a meeple down here, but I can't. I don't have one. But at least my farmer will still score points for it at the end of the game. We want to keep doing that as much as possible with these farmers. All right, my turn. Um... Um, I'd, I'd, yeah, let's extend that out maybe and try and get more under our control. Um, if I could somehow bring this land over to the right so that this farmer is touching this over here, that would be awesome. Um, hmm. It's a tough decision. Well, I mean, at, at this point, I mean, that helps him out, though. I don't, I don't know if I like that. In doing that, that'll extend the reach of this. Uh, I think we'll do that. He's building more over here for sure. All right, we've got an end point. Um, let's put that... I don't, don't want that. We want to put this in a, in a way to where our farmer will be able to touch it. Um, so we're touching this, but the chances of it getting completed might be a little low. Uh, no. Well, I guess, no, that, that dirty. Well, you know what? I don't know what would go here, but if we can close this off, then let's take a look at the rest of the tiles that are left. Some castles, okay. Um, if I can get lucky enough to grab this one, I think. I think that would do it. All right, we'll, we'll shoot for that one. We'll go ahead and do that. And of course you got an NP. Oh, nice. Uh, nah. I don't know if I want that one. That would also be bad. Hmm. Where are my other farmers at? Um, I've got a couple of farmers roaming around. I've got one here. I've got one here, but he's... He's just sort of on this end. Can I get him to connect... Oh, there's a farmer. Okay, so this, this farmer is only touching the one castle from the looks of it. And maybe one over here. This farmer is touching that one as well, but uh, getting this... I'm trying to get these two farmers that I laid down to touch other things, and it's proving to be very difficult to do that. There's a farmer there. Putting that there... Uh, would cut that. Yeah, see, I don't know if I like that either. I'm hoping for an end piece for this one. See, this is not the tile that I wanted at all. Well, uh, you know what? I'm going to put that here and give myself another point at the end of the game for having that surrounded. All right, he just completed that road, got some more points. He may win this one, folks. It's very possible. Uh, an end... Okay, yeah, no end piece there for me, unfortunately. I don't want to help him out with that. Um, so that's off the table. Uh, I think, again, I think we'll just focus on this guy up here. We'll go ahead and add more around this cloister. He's building a road over there. Another one of these stupid... Ugh. I need an end piece. I'll throw that... Throw that there. There's the end piece I needed, but he's got it. Ugh. 
course he does. I, I want this one closed so I can get three points. Uh, this one would kind of be nice for trying to connect this land with this, but I don't think it's going to happen. What about up here? No, nope, none of those are going to work. I guess we'll just add this here. Well, no, because that helps him out. I don't want to help him out. That adds to his road. Hmm. So, as simple as this game is, it's quite cutthroat. I may want to add this here just for the se the benefit of possibly, you know, maybe there's going to be more castles down here. I don't know. But this will extend the farmland a bit. Extend the reach of this farmer here. Come on, give me an... Okay, nice. Oh, darn. It's not the one I needed. Arr, it has roads on either side, so it, this one won't work. Um, still, though, um, if I can rotate it, no, I'm going to do this in a different way. That's okay. Well, that's two possible ways to finish this. I'd rather it be somewhere else, though. This one... See, that would give him the end that he needs, and I really don't want to do that. See, look, he's got... This would give him an end piece for this. But at the same time... This is another possible closing area for this castle. But I'm, I'd be giving him a point. And at this point, it, every point matters. I'm going to go ahead and put that there, I think. That's a biggie. And another one of those... Uh, those, uh, those, those surround... Uh, those coisters. I'm getting everything that I don't need. I, I need to find a way to close. And I have no meeples to put down, so this is kind of a waste. Um, I mean, I could put this here, but that would help him, and that would help me at the same time. Um, if I were to put this down to extend farmland, where would I put it? If I put that over here and try and make my way over um and get this farmer to touch all of these somehow some way that would be awesome do something like that and he's completed that road segment so he's just scored more points and again not what i need this bites i hate i hate the rng in this game but you know it's it's just one of those things all right, so I'm going to do something like that. Again, trying to make my way over to the right. And he's got another end piece. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he have another end piece? All right, there's no way... I have this one tile left. Um, yeah, at this point, I, I don't see... There's nothing else for us to do. All right, well, fine. And he's got that there. Okay, end of the game. He probably won this. He's he's way up on points. But maybe my farmers will come through. I don't know. I've got seven points for those roads. He's got two for that one. He's got three points for that one. He's still way ahead. Wow, four points for that one. Hi, Justin. Hello, Lorena. Is it? Eight points for that. Nice. I'll take it. Seven points for that. He's still ahead, though. He's got that huge nine-point lead. Ten points for that. Oh, yeah, he's got this in the bag. Six points for the me there. Eighteen points for me there. Uh, he's still got that one farmer. That did it. Oh, good game, computer. Good game. I think I want to rematch. I think we can do one more. You unlocked hatching a plot. Okay. That was a really close game. Um, definitely could have done better, I think. Let's go ahead and play another one.
It's only like half an hour in, so might as well. I love playing this game, even though it's... Sometimes the RNG really screws you over. Um, like, just right now, he, he just managed to complete a castle and I didn't even get to play. Alright, so... Let's then... Let's make our own. Um... I guess we'll do something like that, and we'll add a meeple over there. Hi Gameplay, how are you? It is a lot of fun, it's based off of the tabletop game. And once again, he just completed another castle, and I haven't had a chance to do anything yet. Oh, the RNG. Urgh. Okay. Um, what I could do... This thing needs to be surrounded on all sides. So we're going to put, I think, that there. I'm going to try and build around it. I want to get a farmer down as, as soon as possible, I think, to try and capitalize on these completed castles. Connecting them, though, may be a different story because we've got a road segment here and a road segment here. Um, and if I put a farmer down on this piece of grass, it's not going to be connected to this because this road is cutting it off. I've got another one of these things. Um, you know what? Let's do something like this. Um, let's turn it this direction. We'll put a meeple down on that. So if, again, we're want, we want to surround these tiles as much as possible. If we can, we'll get a lot of points. Him and his completed castle. He's already got 12 victory points. I have zero. Okay. Um, yeah, this does not bode well. Um, I guess we'll expand on that. And do I want to... I, I think I may put a farmer down here. The reason being, there's already a completed castle here, and a completed castle here. So at the end of the game, I'm going to score points for these completed castles, plus this one here. I want to try and get a land, I want to get this land locked before he gets to it. So I think I'm going to put a farmer on this side of the road, and be done with it. Is it arcane? Uh, yeah, I... I don't know if I've been finding them. I mean, these games have always been there, but um, it, like, this is a classic tabletop game, made digital. Um, but yeah, it, it's fantastic. Highly recommend it. It's, again, the RNG, like, you only, you pick a tile and you place a tile. It's not like you've got a hand of tiles that you can pick from, so there's, a, there's less strategy involved that way. Sometimes you're just dealt a crappy set of tiles uh, as you pick them up to play them. Uh, but still, um, it's, it's still relatively fun. Now here's another thing I may want to do. If I can get, if I put a farmer here, and then somehow get grass here, this, now this is this is an example of me being able to get around the whole, you cannot put a farmer down on a farmer's field that already exists. This already exists, this blue here. But the way around that is, put the farmer down somewhere else, then connect the land after the fact. This farmer will then piggyback off, like, both farmers will score double for everything they're touching. So I think we're going to put a farmer there, and then try and put grassland here, so that these connect. Uh, that would be great. Um, I just, I hope it works out that way. We'll see how that goes. I'll take your suggestion under advisement, Lauren. Um, can't promise anything. I generally only take Another one of these cloisters. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, well, this will guarantee that this land connects. I'm going to go ahead and put that down, put a meeple on that. I'm going to be scoring a ton of points at the end of the game if I can surround these. That would be great if I could. That's no, okay. There's no, there's no ignorance at all, really. You're fine. All right, so this is going to be a completed castle now. Um, again, for those of you tuning in, the way to score points in this game is close off items or, I guess, buildings in the environment. Whenever you place a tile, you have the option to put a meeple on it somewhere. You can place it on a castle. You can place it on the grass to be a farmer. Uh, you can place it on a road for it to be a thief. Whenever the road completely closes off, there's a, a definite end point, like this, this little town center there. It's one end point. But this one is open-ended, which means that this meeple is still going to be there uh, until this road gets closed off. Then this road will close off and score. So we're just we're looking to close things off with our meeples on them and score points. This church slash abbey slash cloister scores whenever it's completely surrounded on all sides. So we've got three of them here. So we want to surround 
all of these, if at all possible, and score a ton of points. It's one point per tile around it. But we just closed this off, so we're going to score two points for each castle tile, plus an extra bonus for this little shield that's on it. Some of these tiles have a shield on it. So this is going to be two, four, six, eight. Two for two for each castle segment. One, two, three, and then two for this shield. Do I want to put a farmer down here? Mm. I've only got one meeple left at this point, so I, I kind of don't want to. But at the same time, if I can put grass here and then connect it, that's even more farming points I'll get at the end of the game. But at the same time, I, I don't think I want to. I want to save some meeples so that I can score more castles and roads down the line. Interesting. So he's going in that direction. He just closed off that row with his meeple on it. Um... This one, that's kind of cool, uh, but I don't know if we're ever going to complete this. It would be cool if we can complete this castle. I just don't know if we're going to. Um, I'd, I'd hate to put a meeple down on, the, on that and not know if we're going to complete it. I could do something like this and work my way into completing this one, get that meeple back. I might, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. The more we, if we can close or, or close these off, um, the faster we do that, the more we can get these meeples back off the table and back into our hands, back into our pool. So, uh, by putting this here, I think that's the right decision. We're going to put a meeple on it. We still have one left. And if we can get a, a tile here, to the right of it, uh, that will completely enclose this cloister, and then we'll get that tile back. Um, so we could do something like that, for example, uh, which is great. Uh, that will completely surround... This will get this people back and also score nine points in the process. There's our nine points and our meeple back. And it looks like he's building. Uh, that's actually good for me because uh, I want another castle out this way, if at all possible. Um, this is going to cause issues, I think. I want my castle to be relatively small. I want a bunch of small castles. I don't want a bunch of big castles. I want my farmers to be able to touch as many castles as possible. Um, so what would I do in this situation? I mean, I, this is okay. The downside is that it guarantees that this would be... Like, this castle is actually cutting off the field going up this way. I don't know if I want to do that. I can put this here, but then the chances of me completing this is going to be harder. Um, I kind of want to, like, put my own castle out this way. Like, maybe just put this out here um, and possibly create another castle. Work off of that. But whether or not I put a tile on... I, this is going to be tough to enclose. I'm going to hold off on putting a meeple there for the moment. He's got his own coister that he just put down. Road segment. Um, if I were to put this down, I, I could put that there, but again, it becomes very difficult to enclose that. Um, I can put a road segment over here, which is... That actually is, well... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, this will allow me to extend my reach with the farm, and I'm one more away to completing this cloister. Now, I can put a thief on this row, but who knows when it'll be done, and I've only got two meeples left. I can put a farmer here, but the chances of me being able to connect... Like, I, I'd have to bring... I'd have to connect the tiles in such a way to where the farmer's land here would extend all the way around and connect to this existing blue shaded area. See the, see the shaded area there? I'd have to try and find a way to connect it. And the roads, and the roads cut it off. There's a road here, so more than likely this would connect like that, and that would not work. So I'm not going to put anything down, I don't think. Alright, next up, he's going to put a tile over there. My turn. This is a huge one. This is... Ugh. I don't like that one. But it would score... If I can enclose it off, it would score a ton of points. It's just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, can't, it, it's, yeah, I guess. We'll go ahead and throw a meeple. I, I'm taking the risk there. I'm hoping that this will score big in the end. Who knows if it will. And he's got an end piece. Of course he does. And I have somewhat of an end piece that could 
do something like that. My farm is touching that. I can put that down and then put a meeple on top of it. Let's do that. Hello, Mr. Focus, how are you? All right, I have no more meeples left, so I want to try and uh, complete these cloisters soon. This is actually a good one. This extends this out and encloses this cloister completely, uh, and I get this meeple back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's nine more points for me. And I've got a stupid road that I can do nothing with. That's wonderful. Um, boy. All right. Well, I don't want a road. I I want I want castle pieces, not roads over here. That would help him out. Not going to do that. That would help him out. Not going to do that. Now I understand, Mister Focus. I have insomnia too, and I I can't sleep sometimes. By putting that here, uh, do I want a meeple over here just for the heck of it? This road segment is kind of worthless, honestly. But hey, uh, or we can extend this out, like so. Yeah, let's do that, and we'll, we'll put a meeple on it, um, and then hope that we can close this road in the future. Am I still going to play B-Fence? I don't know. The, it Again, it, when it comes to games, it's based on what I want to play when I want to play it, unless there's a donation involved, so maybe, maybe not. It, it all depends. Another road segment that I really can't use. That's lovely. Um, well... I don't want to mess with these castles up here. Um... Don't want to help him. I get the same crappy room. Uh, maybe we'll do something like this. It's out of the way. It really doesn't benefit me at all. Again, sometimes you just draw some really crappy tiles. He completed a road segment from the looks of it. Okay. Um, another road segment for me. Lucky, lucky me. Um, I want castle tiles, darn it. I'm not getting my castle tiles. Um, I guess we'll... Nah. I guess. I'm trying to make it very difficult for him to do anything, but uh, at this point... Again, it's just a crappy tile. I need, I need castle tiles that will close these off. On the plus side, he's forming castles over here that my farmers are able to reach. So I'm going to get some points at the end of the game for that, assuming he finishes them. Whoops, wrong button. I've got a... Oh, good. Um, well, on the downside, he played something that extended this out. I could do that, and then I have to find a, a closed one for here. So I guess I can do that. And now I need, now I need one that will close me off here. Interesting. Oh, I got another one. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to close this off. That's another castle that my farmers are touching. I got 10 points for that one. And I got a, a meeple back. Hello. And now I have another... <laughs> another cloister. Um... I don't... I, I don't want to put that there. Be well... That might be beneficial. Official. Do I want to really do that? Nah. My farmer's already touching this down here, so I don't know if I want to put that there. I, again, I'm trying to get castle pieces that will fill all of this around and, and give me more points. I don't want to put this here because, I, again, I'm trying to find tiles that will close this off. Um, but I don't have much of a choice. This already has four tiles around it. So by me putting a, a meeple here, this is going to score me. This is going to score me at least four points. Well, plus the one I've got. So I guess we will do that. We'll, we'll put our meeple there. Hopefully this will work out in the end. He's kind of encouraged to build off this because he's got his own cloister nearby. All right, so I've got something that I can put down um, or I can put that up here. 
That just that doesn't do much. I guess we'll do that. He's got a rose segment down there. Um, got another one of those corner ones. Uh, again, we can try and finish this. I don't think it's going to work. But we'll still score some points for it at the end of the game, should we do it. Alright, he completed a castle, but that's good for me. He got points, but my farmer is also touching it. So it's going to score... A, my farmer will score points for that. Oh, we can close this off finally. The downside of this is that this will never be closed because there's no tiles left to do so. But in closing this... Our farmers will score points, and we'll get some... It's two, four, six points, plus the shield is eight. So we'll get eight points for this here, which is nice. It's a shame that this is wasted, but I kind of need the points. Oh, we completed that? Wow. All right. And there's another closed one. Too bad that wouldn't fit here. That would be perfect. Um... All right, let's just, again, we're going to try and close this off if we can. I want to score some points. I have a meeple. Um, I, I'm I'm tempted to put it on this one here. Or, no, I could put it there. And my farmer, I believe, yeah. If we can, if we can complete this one, let's do that. I'm going to put that there and put a meeple on this castle. And if we can complete this castle, that would be another completed castle for us. And we completed that cloister, so that's another nine points. I think that was a better move. And he completed that road for a ton of points. Nice. Okay, now this this huge one here, I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, we want to enclose it, not extend it. Uh... But, maybe something like that. <sighs> boy, 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 boy. Um, hmm. I mean, at the end of the game, I'll get points. If this does not get completed, I'll still get points for every one I, every castle tile I have and then plus one for the shields so that's still I'll still get points for them I just have to I mean I, it would be better if I can completely enclose these off but I just don't know if it's going to happen with 21 tiles remaining I'm checking to see if there's a, a road that's very long that I can close off that I can score some easy points on first I'm not seeing any though because this has a road segment on it and it's, it would close it off so if there's a very long road segment that I can capitalize on that would be awesome this poor guy here, this thief is just badly placed. I'll right, we'll put it there. Do we want to put a meeple down on the road? No, no, I don't think anywhere. Oh. He's got a farmer down over here. Um, it's not really doing a whole lot. The downside, though, is that if he connects this together, then I'm in trouble. All right, well, I've got one of these connector things. I can, I can do something like that. Or, or, better yet, do this. I'll get some points for that. Um, I could put a meeple down on this one. You know what? I'm going to put a farmer down here and then try and connect this grass. Let's do that. That way, um, if I can connect this grass, this farmer will score a ton of points. I just have to hope I get the right tiles for it. All right, no, that's not what I wanted. And I have I have one meeple left, so I could actually let's do that. Score this castle real quick, four points. And that farmer is technically touching it, so that's another three points for him at the end of the game. I I still want to complete this right here though. I think that would be beneficial. I just don't know if there's any tiles left to be able to do that. All right, we've got this stupid road. Um. Not helpful. None of these are helpful. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, by putting this road here, 
This will now extend this way all the way up and touch all of these other castles. I, I, yes, absolutely. Farmer, no. This, this road is completely cutting that off. No, I don't need a cow. No. All right, another road segment. These things are nasty. And there's, n this, this one's stuck here. There's no tile in the game left that can possibly go here. Um, not what I wanted. What? Our farmers are where? There's nothing left in the game that can close this off, which stinks, because this guy's sort of hanging here. Farmer there, person there, person there. Yeah. Oh, again, uh, we've got a crappy rogue segment that, segment that we can't do anything with. Hello, Koru, how are you? Well... Again, I don't think it's really going to matter, but... See, if I put that here, that connects. I, I do not want to connect his green farmer with mine. Hmm. No. I want to make it harder, though. Maybe something like that. I want to make it harder for him to connect this land. I, I don't I do not want his green farmer to connect with this down here. So I'll do something like that. And do I want a farmer? Um I, I can't. Yeah, it's either on the road or on this side of the farm, which I'm not gonna do. I'll pass that up. He's got a straight road segment there. He's doing something with it. I've got a straight road segment, not something I really want. Um no. Again, I was hoping for more castle tiles. Now that would help him out. He doesn't have a farmer touching this. And we're nearing the end of the game. I'm thinking maybe I should put a farmer down here. To maybe score an easy three points. Because there's no farmer on this side of it. Like if I put this down here. And then put a farmer here. That would touch this, this completed castle. Um, and that would be it. Or I can put that down. Here. And that would touch this completed castle. That's three, three more points. But is three points really worth that extra meeple? I may want to save that meeple in case I can do something else with it later. Um, decisions, decisions, decisions. You know, let's just throw it out here for right now. Again, I'm trying to make it tougher for him to complete. I don't want to connect these tiles together. I want his farmer to be isolated out there. Okay. Another curvy road. Again, I don't care for that. That's something I do not want. Absolutely not. Um, no. I hate the RNG and some. I just hate the RNG sometimes. Um. Well, <laughs> it'd be cool if I could somehow. If I put a farmer down here, right, then somehow get grass here, um, that would connect to everything else. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put a farmer down here, um, and then hope that I can get this connected in such a way. A tile here. Let's see if there's anything left first off. Um, there's one there. Well, let's see what, what would connect to it first off. Uh, it's just a straight piece. So one side would have grass and the other side is a, a road. So one side has grass. Okay, so we could do something like that. Um, that's a castle. That's a. There's only one tile left. The rest are all castle pieces. Ah. So maybe that's not a good idea. 
Well, I mean, it's the best I I can hope for at this point. No, you know what? I'm going to save it. I'm going to save that. I'm going to put that down, but I'm going to save it because... Um, oh, I, did I just put that down? Oh, crap. I didn't mean to. Oh, well. Yeah, I saw... There's more castle pieces, so I was, I was hoping to maybe close off more castles and score more points. Um, but... It, oh, there's another one that we're touching. Beautiful. Um, well, I think we should try and enclose this one off. But again, we may not be able to. Not with what's left. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, add to my points. I'll put that there. He completed a road segment there. My turn. Um, can't put that... That would have been nice to be able to close that off there, but this is a road segment, unfortunately. Yeah, see that now... Getting this to connect would be, yeah, there's only one tile left that could possibly connect to this. So maybe not, maybe not do that. Uh, bother. Well, I guess we'll do something like, I mean, fine. I mean, there's not really much we can do. He's putting that over there. Possible completed castle if I can swing it. Um, and this castle piece is not something I want. And I have, I have no meeples left. So I'll just extend this, maybe. Not that it would really matter. We're, we're neck and neck. I'm just hoping that my farmers will win for me in the end. That's that's what I'm hoping. Alright. Last tile. Unfortunately, that's not gonna... I cannot finish this castle. My farmers won't be able to make use of it, but... This guy will still score a lot of points, which is good. Um, and... Oh, well that connects... Is that still considered a connection? It might be. Let's do it. Um, yeah. I'm hoping that this farmer connects all the way around. It looks like it does. Alright, so let's take a look at our... He's he's up by five points. So, now it's just a matter... Oh, he got a, he got a farmer there at the last second. Alright, end of the game. So let's see. He's up by points, clearly. But let's see if my farmers can come through me this time. Three points for that. Five points for that road. And he's killing it. Eight points for that monastery. Cities. Ten points for that one. Nice. Hmm. Twenty-seven for that one. Three points for that one. Three points for that one. Three points for that one. For that one. Nice. Oh, man. Okay, so those those farmers I put down, they triple teamed all of those castles in the middle, scored me a ton of points. You unlocked Welcome Wagon. Alright. Not bad. I got my revenge. Alright, folks, so that was Carcassonne. Again, it is, it is available in board game form, but you can find it digitally as well in a number of places, Steam included. Um, maybe I'll be back in a little bit with more 
uh, digital board games, maybe some Splendor. We'll see. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.